So we want to look at two examples on calculations involving the uses of a CRO and one example we have it here we are given a DC voltage of 50 volts when applied to the Y plates causes a deflection on the screen as shown below so this is the screen and that's the deflection determine the sensitivity of the Y gain that is part A and part B show what will be observed if an AC of peak voltage 75 volts is fed onto the Y plates. So onto the solution for part A then we have a DC this is a direct uh, current voltage then the voltage uh, is 50 volts then we go and check how many divisions do we have on the displacement then this voltage has caused a displacement of one division two divisions we have two divisions therefore the divisions are two so if two divisions have represented 50 volts then what is the sensitivity then the sensitivity will be the voltage that we have divided by the number of divisions that is 50 divided by 2 and that gives us a sensitivity of 25 volts per division 25 volts per division then in part b now on the same cro now we want to feed an ac of peak voltage 75 volts so you've already calculated the sensitivity we have seen it is 25 volts per division then we need to ask ourselves how many divisions is this AC going to cover the voltage is 75 volts then the sensitivity we've seen is 25 volts per division then how many divisions is it going to cover it is going to cover 75 volts divided by 25 and that means that we are going to have three uh, divisions the next thing i need to be keen on is that this is an ac and the ac will cause a displacement on either side of the zero volt line therefore if this is the screen i need to mark that that is the point where we have the zero volts and therefore this being the zero volts if we start from here then it will be it will move upwards three divisions one two three then on the other side it will also move up to negative three so we'll have from the zero three divisions on the upper side three divisions on the lower side please note if this was a dc if this was a dc then you'll only have represented it with a line either on the upper side or on the lower side but only one either on the upper side or we can also have it on the lower side but if it is an ac then it is on either side this being the zero mark then three divisions on the upper three divisions on the lower side let's look at another example here the figure below is a display of an ac signal on a cro screen determine the peak voltage so the first thing we'll be looking at is the peak voltage and the frequency of the signal the frequency of the signal given that the y sensitivity is 30 volts per division and time base is set at 200 uh, milliseconds per division then we need to go straight to part a we need the peak voltage so what is our y sensitivity 
the y gain is set at uh, 30 volts per division 30 volts per division then this is our zero volt mark along that line therefore how many divisions on the upper side one two and you can see it will be the same even on the lower side one two and therefore the peak voltage will be the number of divisions multiplied by sensitivity the number of divisions are 2 the sensitivity is 30 volts per division and therefore our peak voltage will be 60 volts the peak voltage is 60 volts then for part B For part B, we need, remember first, we need to calculate the periodic time to get the frequency. Then we first look how many divisions has, have been covered by one wave. Then the number of divisions, first that is one wave from this point, we've covered one wave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Therefore, we have eight divisions. What is the time base setting? 200 milliseconds per division. Therefore, the periodic time T will be 200 times 8, which is 1600 milliseconds. Then we divide this by 1000, which will give us a periodic time of 1.6 seconds. And therefore, our frequency is the reciprocal of the periodic time which is 1 over 1.6 and this will give us looks like I need to use my calc 1 divided by 1.6 that is 0 0.625 hertz so you've calculated the peak voltage as well as the frequency I'll be sending you uh, more questions regarding to the topic cathode rays which will help you in the revision and also the understanding of the topic. I'll give you a, an assignment on the last part of this topic and like you to look at the TV tube. Look at the modifications done on the CRO for it to be a TV tube and hence you'll be able to see the differences between the TV tube and the CRO. Thank you very much. Next week, we'll be looking at X-rays. Thank you.